The Brookside execution sequence. <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall. I do have something in common with Tony Mortimer, as well as um, my surname. We, we once both got bitten by the same fox at different pop festivals. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that extraordinary? I should have the same fox. Because it had a very unique bite. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the shape, teeth the, your teeth pattern. Thank yeah. you. Your teeth pattern. As opposed to the other fox bites <laughs> getting received. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met the fox since? No. Well, ooh, I, I, I'd like to. Oh. <laughs> and Sue, and Lee, you're going to put. Oh, I, like I see. It. Bob, what kind of a nut would you slip? into Anthea's pocket, if you were given the chance? Well, I don't know. I, I'm a, a, a little gnarled cashew, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, on a lighter note, I once stayed at Anthea Turner's house and hit, I took the bath panel off and hid under the bath. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when this happened, because Bob was there, you used to be, you were a barrister, weren't you? I was a solicitor at A the solicitor. Time, yeah. And didn't you go down to... Because they arrested, or they... Certainly the police took... Uh, Jarvis away. <laughs> no, Michael Jackson's goons arrested him, not the police, and they put him in a port cabin. I presumed it would be something, you know, like substances, weaponry, <laughs> something like that. And I, and I cleared them out, demanded to go in there, and I said, Jarvis, what have you done? And he said, I showed me bottom to. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be okay with those. Okay. Euro Disney's built near a town called Malmaison, which is very dear to me because it's where Napoleon's house is. And I, I like to play a game, it's called Coccolotti. <laughs> and I, I got my penis out right next to Napoleon's bed. <laughs> I've also done the Versailles Treaty and the Bayeux Tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> How's the game work? You have to expose your penis near a great artifact yeah. or, or an icon or something. How many do you have to do before you get a Duke of Edinburgh award? <laughs> I asked you how you two came unstuck during their Oslo gig in 97. Uh, Anyone get this? It was a massive malfunctioning lemon, which sounds, <laughs> frankly, like Bono, but it was Bono <laughs> at, at, and the Edge in a sort of spinal tap moment of madness. Can I um, just say, I'm, I met you two once and I stood very close to the Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Richard and Bob, what did you get this? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd spice it up with some satire. <laughs> OK, go on, spice things up with some satire. <laughs> they were allowed to play. We're here all week. Now, the thing... <laughs> is, um... I've never met Bo now as such, but I did um, creep up behind him once and pop a walnut in his pocket without him noticing. <laughs> Was this the precursor to the cocky, cocky lottie? No, game? it's just... It's, which celebrity can you put a walnut in? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you were absolutely right. Uh, the band got stuck in a 40-foot mechanical lemon that failed to open. <laughs> <laughs>